Okay, so let's send a document to the taxpayer for them to sign. Uh, I've got Profile all set up for DocuSign. DocuSign's integrated with Profile. And now I can go ahead and uh, send any documents that I want. Uh, I'll just show you here. On the filing section, there is the uh, e-file this return question as usual, but there's this new question, did the taxpayer electronically sign the T-183? And so I've got that checked, yes. And if I look at the T-183, I can see that there's a place to enter the, the date and the time. So I can do that once I get the information back from the taxpayer. So let's go ahead and send something. I'll go to the file menu and I'll go to e-signature, click signature, and I've got the T183 and the authorized a rep document by default. I can uncheck them. So let's say I don't want to send the authorized a rep. I can uncheck that. If I look over here, there's three dots. What I can do is attach any other documents that I want. So I prepared a PDF for the summary ahead of time. So I'm just going to attach that. And there's the PDF there. And this is a document that um, I prepared ahead of, a template that I prepared ahead of time. And it'll stay populated like this for all the documents that you send. So you can make a default template or you can change it if you need it for each taxpayer. So now that I've got the document selected I want to send, I've got the message I want. I can go down to the Send to DocuSign button. So I can click on that. And uh, Documents Prepared to Send Up to DocuSign. And based on the account that you've uh, integrated with Profile, it'll take you up to the, doc, uh, the DocuSign site. And here are the documents I want sent. So I've got the summary. It's a pretty straightforward one. And let's say I want to get them to initial that they've read it. I can put a initial there. And then I can scroll down to the, the T183. And I need them to sign it. So I can click here and put the sign over there. And I need the, the signing date and time. So I can click here, and I'm going to put this over a little bit so the, the time doesn't get off to the far end of the document. So I'll just put it here. Uh, DocuSign will populate the date and time automatically. So I've got everything I need to have sent to the taxpayer, and I will send it up now. So there's up at the top right, there's a send button. And I will send. And DocuSign is sending it up to the taxpayer. So I'm going to go over to an account I have for this, get an open it. And then all the taxpayer does is click on Review Documents. So once they open it, it'll open. And they'll get this I agree to use electronic records and signatures. And they have to check the box and then continue. And there's this little handy start over here. 
if I click that, it'll walk through what has to be done. So they can just click on here and say, yes, I'll use my initials and adopt an initial. Then the next step is to sign. And then the signers, the signatures there. And look over here that automatically from the way it's set up, it has the, the date and the time. So the start button's gone or the continue button. So that means it's finished and it can be sent back to the preparer. So I can just click finish. And then they'll get this. What it is, is it's a record of the document for the taxpayer. And they can just pop in a, a password here. Then they can send it back. So if the taxpayer wants, they can have a review document area on DocuSign. So I'll go back to the actual tax return now. What I can do is I can go and look at, um, back in the file menu, there's e-signature and there's a dashboard. From the dashboard here, I can download a zip file of the documents. and I can save them in my documents, or you can direct it to a different lo a location if you want to. So you have a record for the documents on your computer. And then I can look at the documents. So I've got this document. If I have a PDF reader on the computer, I have Foxit installed here. I can look at this document. So this was the summary. And I can scroll down. I can confirm that they re acknowledge reviewing it. And then I can go here. And I've got the T183. And I can scroll down and I can see there's the e-signature and there's the date and time here. You can see how I've got their side by side. That's why I put the signature over to the left a bit. Now what I can do is go back to the actual tax file. And I can put in the date. Notice there's warnings there now. And after I enter the time, those warnings are gone. So I've got a record of the electronically signed document. I've uh, got a copy on my computer and I put in the, the date and time and this return, after checking if you need to check, can be sent. And there is a record in the file if you save the file with what's actually on the document in regard to the, uh, the date and the time. And that is the process of sending, preparing the documents to send, sending them up to DocuSign, 
sending it to the taxpayer, and then we saw how the taxpayer reviewed the document and did the signing, and then what happens when you get it back in profile.